welcome back to another WD detailing video. I'm here today with a special treat for you guys. We were called by a local horse stable letting us know that they had a BMW 325 that was left in their hay barn for the last, I don't know, five, 10 years. They weren't specific with how long it's been there. Um, but as you can see, it's accumulated a ton of dirt, dust, mud, hay, uh, God knows what else on the interior. And we're actually gonna be taking this car back to our shop, uh, which is about a 40 minute drive from here. And uh, I have to drive it looking like this with the top down in, uh, in 35 degree weather. So with that being said, wish me luck. So as RJ just mentioned in the beginning of the video, we have a BMW E30 that's been sitting in a horse stable for the last 10 years. Now we don't have a ton of background information on this car, but what I can tell you is that the owner would drive it around the stable area for a while then let it sit for a long time. And once you see the inside, you'll understand why it got the abandoned title. And before we get to the interior, make sure you guys take a second and subscribe to the channel with your notifications on. That way you don't miss our future uploads. Now, as you can see, some barn mice made this car their home. And I can tell you that we luckily didn't find any while detailing the car, which was a relief to say the least, because it really would not have been fun finding any dead mice while we were pulling this thing apart. And for this video, the way I ordered it, we actually did the exterior first when we detailed the car, but I want you guys to see the interior first so you can understand why this was called an abandoned barn find. And the last thing, which you guys know we always do in every video, it's the question of the video. Leave your answer in the comments below. I think I'm gonna do this for every barn find. What year do you think this BMW is? So if you guys have seen any of our recent videos where we needed a pet brush, you know we used to use the Lily brush, but now we've been using this one made by Anilan. And we actually want to give away 10 of them to you guys completely for free. And this is also not sponsored or an ad or anything. We just love this brush and we want you guys to have a chance to try them for yourselves. So if you want to win one, all you have to do is be subscribed to our channel and leave a comment below with the word Anilan in it, along with your Instagram name. If you guys don't leave your Instagram, we can't contact you and you can't win. So make sure that you put it in there.
So the car actually had no floor mats, but it did have this in the trunk and we decided to take care of it as soon as we pulled it out. That way it could start drying while we were doing the rest of the car. And luckily the stains that you see ended up coming out, so we were really happy with the result. So the rest of the interior did have some mold in it. Uh, it wasn't as bad as our last video if you guys saw that one, but it was still there. So we made sure to take care of it and thoroughly clean everything. That way, when we returned it to the owner, it was safe to drive and it looked brand new. Thank you. 
Moving on to the leather seats, these things were absolutely destroyed. They had mold on them, they had mud on them, they had dirt, they had everything you could think of, even hay. So we gave them a really good deep cleaning and then when we put them back in the car at the end, then we put on the conditioner to give it a chance to soak in but also look good when the customer got their car back. And I see comments sometimes asking if the conditioner or the dressing that we put on the car makes it greasy and oily. And it doesn't. All it has to do is take some time to soak in and dry and it won't be oily. It looks great when it's done. So as long as you're using good quality products, you should never have that problem. I want to remind you guys, if you're enjoying this video, to hit the like button for us. It does a lot to help us get our videos out to more people, and it shows us you guys are enjoying the content, which continues to push us to want to put out better and better videos every single week. So take a second, like the video, and enjoy the rest. And we never really show us cleaning the door jams, especially in these hard to reach spots for the camera. But I thought this was actually kind of cool, so I set it up for you guys to watch and it was really satisfying even for me to do in real life. But basically all I did was spray degreaser into the door jam, let it sit for a second so it could run off a little bit and loosen up some of that grime and grease. And I took a spray bottle with just water in it to rinse the rest away. And I think it did a pretty good job for the spots I couldn't reach into. Now finally moving on to the exterior, the first thing we did was the engine bay. And we took our leaf blower to try to blow out as much of that hay and that loose stuff as possible first before actually cleaning it. And then we disconnected the negative terminal on the battery before using any water in there just to be safe and make sure no problems would occur further into the detail.
Now, another thing the owner did mention to us when we picked up the car was that there were a few holes in the roof. And like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we actually did the exterior first. So we weren't really that worried about water or anything getting in there because we were gonna gut the interior anyways and clean it up completely. So it really wasn't that big of a deal. Plus the owner told us he didn't really care and he wanted us to clean it anyways. But we did do our best to try to avoid it, although it was pretty much impossible. Moving on to the wheels, I'm not joking you guys, I think this might be the most satisfying wheel transformation I've ever even seen in my life. Wait till you guys see the before and after pictures at the end of the clip, it's absolutely insane how crazy these turned out. But basically we had to use three different products, we used Brake Buster, we used Iron Fallout Remover, and we used a heavy rim cleaner. Because these rims and these tires have just been sitting, collecting dust, collecting dirt, never being cleaned, and they were awful. But when you see him at the end, you're going to be mind blown. Now before we went ahead and corrected the paint, we made sure to spray the entire thing with an iron fallout remover to get all that iron out of the clear coat, as well as clay bar the entire car, so when we finally got to using the buffers, all that junk wouldn't clog the pads and it would make it a lot easier to actually correct the paint. And if done right, you can get this done pretty quickly and it enhances your detail by a lot.
So after we got done peeling the tape off, I left in a clip for you guys just so I could show you that I'm a better baseball player than RJ. That's literally the only reason why I left it in, so you'll see it right after this clip. <laughs> 